If you're trying to go for the Dark Ether camo in Call of Duty Cold War Zombies and you're only starting off, I compiled every single little tip, little guide in this video but also on top of all of this I will have a bunch of videos linked down in the description with guys that I've currently made. Now obviously you could probably look up more specific ones if people have you know done the guns I haven't yet but if you're looking for tactical ARs, LMGs, SMGs and ARs I'm still working on those, hopefully we'll have them by the end of this year and hopefully we'll have dark ether unlocked also i just want to put out a huge thank you to all of you because we finally hit 10,000 subscribers which is insane i really wanted to try to hit 10k before the end of the year and we actually did which is insane so thank you all so much i will be doing some kind of a giveaway don't know when probably either just on christmas or just after christmas at the start of the next year so if you want to you know stick around for that be sure to subscribe like the videos and stuff like that i don't know you don't have to like the videos and also another Another last thing before we fully get into it we have a discord by we I mean all of you and me you all are amazing we just made it up to like over a hundred members on it which is also insane on top of the 10,000 subscribers so if you're looking for people to help you out with some of the camos to play with to just hang out and talk be sure to uh go to the discord i guess uh, the link is in the description and that link should definitely work this time since we've had some problems in the past but anyway this is a kind of beginner's guide to all of the camos what levels you unlock them at and stuff like that let's get into it so first thing i want to point out is that both primary and secondary weapons have different levels of when they unlock their camos so for example with primary the last level you have to be to unlock the last camo challenge is 50 and secondary you need to be level 30 so the way it works with primary weapons is grunge you have unlocked on both stages both primary and secondary just as it is as a base so you don't have to worry about that but in primary liquid you unlock on level 5 brushstroke at level 10 vintage at level 20 fauna at level 30 topography at level 40 and infection at level 50 now on secondaries you unlock grunge again on level 1 as it is but liquid at level 5 brush stroke at level 10 vintage at level 15 fauna at level 20 topography at level 25 and the last one infection at level 30 so that's basically the way it works now obviously you can go in and check them out yourself but i've had a few people pop into my stream sometimes and ask that question and ask if i could make like a compiled version of all of the guides on all the weapons but i myself haven't done every single one so i can't really do that yet but you know if you're wondering what levels you unlock them at that's the levels also i want to point out that the funnest weapons from my experience have been pistols and rocket launchers just because they're really fun to use they're really fast it's just entertaining to get them done it wasn't really difficult then again i did use double weapon xp when i was around so that's what i want to move on to now is leveling up the weapons now i won't say anything that you haven't heard already but i guess i can mention something if you're totally new to Call of Duty and especially zombies this time around and you're looking to unlock the dark ether essentially multiplayer dirty bomb is really good right now it's always been really good but it's really difficult it's basically warzone but you have multiple lives and the maps that are currently out which is just two before season one they're kind of boring in my opinion they get old really fast and it's really difficult to see people if you're like me who just can't really concentrate on multiple things at once on top of that you could just play normal multiplayer it's nothing insane with the xp as the base so you'd have to use the weapons a lot i struggled a lot with snipers without double weapon xp so whenever there's double weapon xp around this is another part of this abuse it either play zombies play solo play with your friends if you're on playstation play multiplayer play anything just keep playing leveling up the weapons don't concentrate on the camos whenever double weapon xp comes out level up the weapons because this time around you need to be certain levels to unlock certain camos which really sucks in my opinion now another thing is again you could just play zombies as it is try to just use the weapon and unlock the camos and all of the levels as you're progressing through it but in my opinion that's kind of more boring i prefer just having all of them unlocked at once and just going through it as fast as possible because really it speeds everything up now everyone that already has the dark ether camo unlocked well nearly everyone since there was a little bit of a glitch going around where people unlock it way too early is they were first in multiplayer trying to get the dm ultra camo and then they popped into zombies and they had every single weapon already leveled up so it was super easy for them to just pop off all the camo challenges and stuff like that but then again the game's just been out like 
around now it's literally just been out for a month and it's insane how fast some people were able to do it but uh personally i have a lot of college work around now so i can't really be playing the game a lot another one is again as i mentioned before if you're on playstation and a playstation member you can play with your friends which doubles your weapon xp so i definitely recommend that your friends don't have to be on playstation they can be on xbox and pc doesn't matter but unfortunately people on xbox or pc you do not have this bonus because playstation is pretty poo poo pee pee with that thing but that's on the weapon leveling up i can't really give you any more tips but on other hand i definitely recommend to upgrade all of your skills now this will take some time x filling is great the levels or rounds i recommend for you to x fill is around 16 21 maybe 26 since the weapons do become kind of more difficult to get kills with later and if you x fill you get a lot of ethereum crystals which help you out leveling up your weapons if you're concentrating on a certain weapon class for example if you're going to be going for pistols i definitely recommend leveling up the pistols fully with the weapon skill weapon classes whatever you want to call them because you do get bonuses like more damage more critical hits and stuff like that now the main field upgrade that i recommend for you to use as always is ring of fire it is amazing now again you could use ether shroud which lets you escape from a lot of situations but ring of fire will help you out with those elite kills like nothing else and it's just the best thing to use as of now prior to season one and whenever they release more field upgrades if they ever will for the perks obviously you'd want to run all of them i don't recommend running elemental pop just because you could get a turn zombie and i don't think that counts for for example if you're going for critical kills and things like that that just counts like as a turned kill so i do not recommend using elemental pop unfortunately which sucks because i really enjoy that perk and i haven't used it in a very long time since i'm grinding for these camos deadshot is amazing especially if you're a controller player as there's a certain way of abusing the aim assist that you have with your controller on console and on top of all of this with the deadshot which aims at their bodies i'll talk a bit about that in a while and stamina up stamina up is amazing especially for explosive weapons since there is splash damage there's no phd flopper as of now and Splash damage is a big poo poo pee pee, especially if you need to not take any damage from zombies or kills itself, which will affect your camo grind challenges. So stamina up is really good one to escape from certain situations. Now moving on to the camos themselves: grunge, liquid, brushstroke, vintage, fauna, topography, infection, and obviously mastery. But mastery doesn't count. So essentially, I'm going to be going over the most common one, which is on pistols, shotguns, tac ARs, ARs, SMGs, snipers, and LMGs. Both the special weapon, the rocket launcher and the knife have very different challenges but if you really want an in-depth guide on that i have that linked in the description unfortunately i will not be going over that in this video because it will take far too long since there's you know kind of three different uh, styles of the way it works but i definitely have guides down in the description go check them out so essentially on all of the weapons that i've mentioned prior to this the way it goes is grunge is 2500 kills now you do have this one unlocked as it is so grunge should not be an issue in any kind of way if you're going going for the camo challenges so i don't think i have to explain much with that one now liquid 2500 critical kills as i've mentioned before essentially if you're a controller player abuse your aim assist that you have and on top of this with deadshot daiquiri now what you can do is basically aim in and keep spamming the aim in button while you're shooting which will aim in on their heads which is their critical spot of zombies or just in general it will aim in on their critical part of the body now with shotguns this will be more difficult since the shotguns don't have insane range I have a guide on exactly how to do this, but I recommend you know being close up to their heads and basically trying to get the headshots and if you're on pc i recommend walking on flat surfaces so for now we have d machina as our base map and you could be walking around nocturne on totem which is basically the building near spawn you could be walking around in pack a punch which is basically a really flat area or i really recommend walking through the nocturne on totem really tight corner spaced doorways why because one of the zombies keep walking through the doors at once which doesn't overcrowd the area and you will be able to concentrate on those headshots in that kind of way moving on to brush stroke 2500 pack a punch kills similar to grunge i cannot really fully explain to you how to do this apart from kill the freaking zombies you know <laughs> so <laughs> just moving on vintage 15 elites now this one will be one that people will be struggling with so as of now in d machina we only have one elite and that is basically the big dude which i always forget the name of why do i always forget his name anyway the way it works is you have to split him into two different big dudes or thin dudes whatever you want to call them and then you have to kill them now as of now still to this day on d machina what you can do is use a different more powerful weapon if it's an early round try to damage the dude with that weapon split him kill one thin zombie with any kind of weapon and then finish the last thin one with 
your weapon that you want to progress with this camo challenge. Now there are people that say, oh, just basically kill both of them, they count. I haven't really experienced both of them counting. One thing that I did experience though on stream with people while I was playing with them was that assists count with this. So essentially you will get the camo progression if you're playing with a friend and for example, you deal some of the damage and your friend deals the rest of the damage on the zombie or the big dude elite and you will get that counting for you. Now Ring of Fire is also really good on them with explosive weapons, any kind of weapons. So whenever a thin dude spawns in, split him and then the thin person or the thin two zombies elites finish them off with Ring of Fire as well if you, you know, wish to do that instead. Moving on to Fauna which is 10 kills rapidly 10 times. One thing that I can recommend is train around and spawn at the machine. Now I don't know what map will be out in the future. Anywhere where you can train a bunch of zombies, line them up with a pack a punched weapon, do not have any ammo mod and just start blasting. You will get it. It's the rapidly. You don't have to get them one by one in a certain amount of time. It kind of just happens. So there's no other way I can really explain it to you. Topography, three or more critical hits, kills 25 times. This is basically the headshot. So if you'll be progressing for your critical kills and you still don't have them unlocked, this won't be an issue. But essentially, again, you could either do it on a flat surface if you're on PC, if you're on console, abuse your aim assist and you will get this one done. And the last one is infection, 20 or more consecutive kills without getting hit. Now I know there's a very similar challenge like this with the knife. Essentially what I recommend doing is carrying around stuns, but I definitely have a better in-depth guide in the description if you still haven't checked it out. But with any other weapon, essentially try to keep your distance, stamina up is really good, try to have a bunch of zombies built up. You could start progressing with this from round one and four Word, which is really good and that's kind of it I made a bunch of these kind of guide videos but it's just I wanted to make one just fully together compact it's really long this video which I'm worried about because I don't want to bore people but if you stuck around till now thank you so much I will have the TAC AR guide up hopefully this coming week progressively from there get like LMGs SMGs and ARs and we'll be moving on to the dark ether really soon so thank you all for watching subscribe join the discord and I'll see you all in the next one Peace out.